<laughs> Aquatic based cryptids are weird to begin with. But this one? This one is described as being half whale, half polar bear. While only spotted once in 1924, Trunko has an interesting story behind it. This strange, furry, white cryptid was spotted off the coast of Margate, South Africa. It was reportedly fighting two orcas. Reports indicate that Trunko would strike the whales with its lobster-like tail and could launch itself out of the water up to 20 feet. The battle itself lasted for three hours. Only ending when Trunko died, or grew exhausted in one telling, and washed up on the shoreline. This is where it gets... fun. Trunko lay decomposing on the beach for ten full days, and not one scientist showed up to examine it up close. This beast was described as being over 40 feet long, and appeared to be bloodless. The name of the cryptid itself was, in fact, because of its five-foot-long elephantine trunk. The tail took up ten feet of the body length. The white fur that the creature was covered with measured in at about eight inches long. It gets stranger. The trunk itself seemed to be attached directly to the torso. No head was found among the furry white body. Ten days after Trunko washed up on shore, the body was pulled back into the sea. Or, possibly, returned to it willingly. As to what Trunko was, we only have theories. One theory goes that the body itself was that of a rotting whale, which tend to turn pale in color during decomposition. The whale seen fighting Trunko could have simply been tossing it into the air, as orcas are known to do. The trunk itself could have just been the whale's sexual organs, or even part of the intestine. Another theory is that Trunko was, oddly enough, a thing known as a globster. Now, a globster is an unidentified organic mass that washes up on the shorelines of a body of water. They're odd-looking, huge, and really hard to identify. This theory doesn't tell us much, though, as Globster is just another category, but not a solid identification. So we have a headless, furred beast that could launch itself out of the water up to 20 feet. While it had no head, it had a trunk like that of an elephant. It washed onto shore and lay there for 10 days before it was pulled back into the sea, and no scientists at the time went to examine the body. We only have photos for evidence, and they don't give us much. Trunko, however briefly it appeared to humanity, has raised more questions than anything, as most cryptids tend to do. And, as with most cryptids, we're only left with theories and discussion. <laughs>